In this question, we're asked, which of the following patient and drug combinations requires the greatest degree of dosage adjustment with multiple dosing? And we have four options here. So first, let's understand that the greatest degree of dosage adjustment would mean the lowest Q, because Q of 1 is no adjustment, and Q is a fraction between 0 and 1. So we want to find the combination that gives the lowest Q. And the surefire way to approach this question would be to use the equation to evaluate all of the scenarios so the equation is Q equals the normalized creatinine clearance over 120 milliliters per minute times the fraction excreted unchanged, plus 1 minus the fraction excreted unchanged. So the left side of the expression represents the percent of kidney function relative to normal kidneys, and the right side represents the hepatic metabolism. Remember that FEU is a drug property, while creatinine clearance is a patient property. If we evaluate the scenarios, we get the following. So our biggest dosage adjustment would be the lowest Q, which is a drug with FEVU 0.7 and a patient with 60 milliliters per minute normalized creatinine clearance. Now, there's a second way that requires a bit more intuition and conceptual knowledge. We know that FEU means the fraction excreted unchanged through the kidneys, meaning it doesn't get metabolized through the liver. Drugs with high FEUs depend more on proper kidney function to not have accumulation. And we can kind of arbitrarily mark which of our combinations have high FEUs and which ones have low FEUs. The normalized creatinine clearance compares our patient to a baseline of 120 milliliters per minute, and higher numbers would mean that we're able to clear drug with our kidneys better. So if we're looking for a situation where we need a big dose adjustment, we're looking for low creatinine clearances. Mathematically, it's important to think about the fraction out of 120 milliliters per minute in a similar way that FEU is a fraction. And we can see that we have one combination of high FEU and low clearance, which gives us our answer. If this method seems arbitrary to you, the notes page goes a bit more into the math behind this intuition. So check it out. Thanks for watching.